Hi there, I'm Lisa Thompson from lisathompsonlive.com, author of The Great Escape, A Girl's Guide to Leaving a Marriage. Today I'd like to share three tips for how to go no contact with the narcissist in your life. So previously I've shared three tips on how to manage the narcissist in your life. Um, but sometimes what happens is we get to a, a stage or a point in the relationship where it's become so unhealthy uh, for us, whether it's you know emotionally unhealthy, causing great anxiety, uh, verbal abuse, um, physical manifestations of the stress and the anxiety of continuing a relationship with the narcissist. And when we get to that stage, it is important to consider going no contact. And the reason being is the benefits of going no contact are quite amazing. Um, and it's not an easy thing to do. It usually tends to go against what we tend to think a normal life is. So whether it's a family member or someone that's been a, a part of our life for a long time, it can be very difficult to go no contact. But as I say, the benefits are quite substantial. So it is worth considering if you're at the point of feeling very unhealthy and unhappy and you're crying a lot and you're sustaining a lot of emotional abuse from this person. So, um, three tips that I'd like to share really quickly. And of course, if you have some other tips that you'd like to share, I'd love it if you shared those in the comments here so that everyone can benefit from your wisdom as well. So the number one tip is to um, really be conscious of the guilt that you're experiencing and try to let it go. Because there is almost always guilt involved in no contact. You've taken this initiative and you've broken off the relationship. You feel responsible. And then with that responsibility comes this guilt that just kind of sits here on your shoulders. But really, really be conscious of that and try to let it go. Just try to acknowledge it and let it go. And the way that you can do that is just remember why you're going no contact. Remind yourself of the abuse that you've sustained at the hands of this person or verbally. Just the, 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 the treatment from, from the person, uh, the narcissist in, that has been involved in your life. The poor treatment, the way that they've just treated you like a non-person, like you had no feelings, like you had no value. Think about that. Uh, remind yourself of the things that have happened. How were you victimized? Write them down. And I, and I know I talked about that in the last video. Make sure you write down these experiences and these things that are said, exactly what's said, when. And it really does act as a reminder to you why you're going no contact and why you're feeling the way you are and also why it's not your your fault and therefore you should not feel guilty so feeling this guilt number 1 is is very natural but it's so it's a manager or excuse me it's a a matter of managing that guilt and trying to let it go um okay second tip uh no need to explain no contact so don't feel that you have to explain to everybody why you don't see this person, why you haven't returned the calls. Um, because, you know, it, this is a very personal thing and most people are not going to understand it. And if you've been dealing with a narcissist for any length of time, you know that they will lie about you. And even if you try to justify the no contact, to mutual people in your life, whether it's family or extended family or relatives or friends of family. Often the people that are still in the life of the narcissist and are perhaps 
supplying to the narcissist, they will likely not see your side. I mean, they may, may think you're a nice person, they might think you're whatever, but if they're getting anything from the narcissist and they have a relationship with that narcissist, they're going to likely believe the stories that they're being told. So try to limit how much energy you're spending explaining your decision to go no contact. Okay, and uh, number three, instead of explaining yourself, nurture the healthy relationships that are in your life right now. So, and healthy activities. So number three, nurture healthy relationships and activities in your life now. So all that time that you did spend trying to please the narcissist, trying to, you know, do, do what they wanted, what they expected, or explaining yourself. Instead, use all that energy for people that love you just the way you are because you you do have people like that in your life and the more you nurture those relationships the better you're gonna feel the healthier you're gonna feel and also you will attract more people into your life that do show respect and value you because with this no contact and with this nurturing your feeding yourself, you're loving yourself, and this is going to really help on, an, on a going forward basis in your healing, in finding more people and attracting more people into your life that really do care about you and see you as a valuable person. So just to summarize, if you feel the need to go no contact with the narcissist, these are three things that you can do right now to help you through the process. Number one, let go of the guilt. Number two, no need to explain to anyone why you're going no, no contact. And last, number three, nurture healthy relationships and activities for yourself. So if you can do those three things right away and start to think about implementing those three things into your life, I think that you're going to see a big difference in your mental health, how you feel about yourself, and your physical um, wellness and strength. And those are things that you need in your life just to cope with everyday things. So that's it for today and um, I hope this helped you a little bit and if you also have would like to add some tips please do in the comments I would love to hear from you thanks so much for tuning in take care